Japanese Women's Pro Wrestling, Hayuga, Kuragaki, and Watanabe versus Commando Bolshoi, Haruyama, and Yoniyama. Hayuga from Chiba, Japan, her finisher, the Mishinoku Driver 2, she is 29 years old. Kuragaki from Chiba, Japan as well, her finisher, the Wind Tornado, she is 28 years old. Watanabe from Hokkaido, Japan, her finisher, the Elbow Drop, she is 26 years old. Their opponents, Commando Bolshoi, her finisher is the Shutai. Haruyama from Fuoka, Japan, her finisher, the Orange Blossom, she is 25 years old. And Yoniyama from Kanagawa, Japan, the Double Wrist Arm Salt, her finisher, she is 23 years old. Women's pro wrestling action here on Japanese Hardcore Wrestling. We're starting it off with the two captains in the ring, Commando and Hayuga. Absolutely, Hayuga and Commando, the two aces of the company, so to speak. Commando actually in management of JWP. JWP, Buck, an interesting story here. You'll see a lot faster paced wrestling in this matchup, but JWP, the, vers the first version of JWP, pardon me, actually opened back in 1986 with a lot slower oh. pace. But then, of course, it reopened in 1992, which of course now sees a faster pace. No kidding, we have a good example right there, that lightning fast pace, you see an arm drag there by Commando. Interesting teams, it mixes of veterans and rookies, and we see Yoniyama getting tagged in now. Her and Commando double teaming on Hayuga. Double Irish whip across the ring coming up, comes back. Double drop kick. And again, Commando, what an interesting costume there, Buck. What an interesting costume there. And now we have Yanni Yuma and Hayuga in there. Hayuga, Buck, actually went through a name change at one point in her career and reinvented herself to become the superstar that she now is. Veteran move there. They'll put on the brakes. Nothing but air there for Yoniyama's drop kick. And now she's getting thrown to the map by Hayuga. And she's saying her up here. Could be a surfboard coming up. Calls in her partners to run interference. And yep, she's setting her up for that surfboard. And they are just so dominant, Buck, and that's what Hayuga loves to do. She likes to be a fan favorite, likes to please the crowd with her moves. And Buck, she, she captured her first open weight championship in JWP history in 1999 and has since gone on to dominate the division as well as tag team wrestling. What an impressive power display there, holding her up there in that surfboard. Mixed the tag. Here comes Watanabe. Watanabe now in the Ooh. ring with Yaniyama, and it looks like we're going to see a chop fest. Oh, for us, Buck, Ooh. it's like strong style wrestling here. I don't know if Yoniyama wants to get into this with someone like Watanabe. Mr. the clothesline, and oh, oh, you can hear those shots reverberating through Cork and all. Oh, absolutely. You can see the lights on the top of the roof just shaking revert out of the reverb from those chops. And Buck, talk about some history. The history of women's pro wrestling actually goes back to 1954. That's when it's first traced in Japan when they first oh. held matches in strip bars, Buck. And it was when Mildred Burke came over on her first tour of pro wrestling in Japan where she really sparked the Japanese pro wrestling division. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen double arm drags back then like the one Yoniyama did. Now we see her team back in control here as we've got double Irish whip off the ropes. No, <laughs> the brakes were put on by Ayuga that time. Not going to miss it, the clothesline, drop toe hold. Hari Yuma and Yoniyama laying across the ring. Wait a minute, what's the number? Double take down, a cradle. But one, there's two, and oh, a kick out. Watanabe tripped up over her own partner there. Smart double team, triple team wrestling there by the team captain by Commando. And she's going for that rope walk. Well, the Commando now in there, and Buck, she is so white. Look at the balance. Look at the balance of Commando. Amazing. Like Hakuchi over there. Oh, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Hiyuk is there. And I think uh, we're going in reverse now with Commando. And that's not us, Buck. We're not rewinding the videotape. That's her. That's the kind of balance that she has on those ropes. Oh, goes for, oh, look at that bridging slam there, blocking a body first two, and oh, kick out by Commando. That fall away slam, and then holding onto a bridge, Buck, that takes incredible strength and athleticism. You have to give her credit for that one. Kuragaki, the power of the team coming in, but Commando floats over that power bomb attempt, ducks the lariat, back off the ropes, up in the air, could be a head scissors, no, no, arm bar, look at the submission hole. It's actually called the satellite maneuver, Buck, popularizing, popularizing the United States by Sanjay Dutt and Gail Kim. Unbelievable, but look at Kuragaki, she manages to hold on and, and she has an Argentinian backbreaker now applied. Absolutely, look at the roundhouse kicks right to the midsection there, but her midsection's so big, Buck, that she's absorbing it. Look at that, Commando tried to flip out, she held on, she kept the handle, puts her back in that backbreaker. And she can drop her in a burning hammer right here, Buck, she's in prime position, Commando is to receive a burning hammer, but look at her, she's holding on to a rear naked choke. She's gonna hold on, she's got the rear naked choke, Buck, rear naked choke. Amazing, this whole time Kuragaki has been holding on the weight of Commando on her back, and now, oh, she's definitely, she got that choke sunken night there, but oh, breaks it up in the corner, and here comes Yoniyama off the ropes. Yoniyama with, I guess you would call it a tag, Buck, more like a Lucha Libre style tag. 
Hariyama coming in with a drop kick. It's just madness here. Put on Conrado by Commando. Here's a cover. Two and no. Commando just loves being a part of the action. She is the captain of her team right there, Buck. And the history of Commando is she loves to wrestle the big wrestlers like we're seeing here. She takes it as a mm. personal challenge to go in there and beat the big wrestlers. And she is so light and so fast. She has had so much success in doing so. Haruyama and Kuragaki, the power wrestlers of their respective teams, exchanging brutal lariats. There's a duck by Haruyama. And she takes Kuragaki down. One, two, and oh, kick out by Kuragaki. And it was interesting how Haruyama, when she clotheslined her, she actually held on. So she took her down and had more momentum going down with that clothesline as well. Double team here, Irish. No, a cartwheel there by Kuragaki. Goes back. Double lariat by the big one. Yoniyama, she may have wished she stayed out of the ring there. And now we have Commando back inside of the ring that bucked the tags. I don't know. I'm not seeing many of the tags here. Maybe it's Lucha Libre style. Who knows? But I think at this point, it really doesn't matter. Hyuga running across the ring there. Stop Yoniyama and scoop it as slam. But no, easily kicked out there. But no, wait a minute. We've got, we've got some wrestlers on the floor here. We've got a pile up. Wait a minute, picks her up for a suplex. Here comes Commando. Oh, oh she's going to press her right out of the ring, Eric. She's going to throw her right out of the ring. Look out below. Amazing display of power by Kuragaki. That is unbelievable, Buck. Talk about tag team wrestling. Everybody working as a unit. And Buck, right now, it looks like it's adult swim because everybody's out of the pool. Kuragaki and Moonsault. Moonsault. Moonsault by Kuragaki. Unbelievable as we look at a replay. That is unbelievable how she took out her opponents with that move right there. These women leaving nothing in the locker room, doing anything they possibly can right now. What a competitive matchup we're seeing here tonight in the Japanese. I, I think she got, she got around you, Buck. Well, apparently Watanabe does not want to try a dive, but, but Hayuka's ordering her to and encouraging her. Watanabe, suicide tope by Watanabe. Talk about peer pressure, Buck. She didn't want to do it. She wound up doing it, and it worked out for her. Well, it could be the trifecta here now as Hayuka goes to the top the opponents are all below her. She's getting the fans in there. As you mentioned, the crowd please her. Somersault! Ayuga takes her out with that Sentai Atomical. 11 years in the wrestling business. A superstar here in JWP. Started her career in JWP. Wants to end her career here in JWP. And listen to the fans, Buck. You saw the banners earlier. They are happy to have her here. Hayuga following up, I mean, just incredible aerial display here by her team. And now here's Kuragaki, picture perfect, moonsault. There's a cover on Hariyama, two, and oh, Commando got in, but I, I think it was actually Hariyama who picked out there. And Buck, you were telling me an interesting story before. We saw the count there, and she counted one, two, and it kind of slowed up on that three count. Yeah, in JWP, they like to give that pause. They like to give you a chance to continue the match. You have to earn your pinfalls here in JWP. And Buck, that could be a good thing or a bad thing, depending on who's on top oh. or who's on the bottom. But what a DDT! She spiked her! Incredible reversing out of that side slam into the DDT. Hayuga in command here. Haruyama's down and oh, knee right to the back of the head. And these women are so brutal, Buck. You know, we're used to seeing guys like Shadow WX and Hito and Nahanma, and they hit each other with chairs and cactuses and things like that. But these women, Buck, they have no heart. Wait, Yoniyama came in, broke up a German suplex with one of her own. This match is breaking down again. Yoniyama sits up, double underhook. Haruyama's giving her the assist. Picks her up, double face driver. They planted her face right in the middle of the ring, Buck. And you know women, Buck, you know women real well. And it's anything but the face. And anything but the face. Oh, double stomp to the midsec. Oh, and a second one. And, oh, this one's really going to hurt. Haruyama does it. She's up on that top rope now. <laughs> Balancing herself carefully. Uh oh, make down. room for the fat girl. Big leg drop. And here's the cover. One. Two, and oh, Kuragaki had to break up the pin. I'll tell you what, a shame, uh, a page out of the book, Buck, of Dick Togo, who we have seen many times here in the Japanese hardcore wrestling pay-per-views, but he's in the ring in a tag match. He likes to do that as well. These women are giving it all, Buck. And right now, we have the two women that started the matchup back in the center of the ring again. Commander with the full Nelson. Hayuga breaks out, though, drives the knee into the midsection. Scoop up for a slam. No, flip over by Commando. Kicks out the leg. Gets ahead of steam. Up in the air. Swings around, it's like a mobile lock. One, two, and oh, so close. And Buck, in a regular, in a match with a regular referee, a referee that we have seen earlier tonight, she would have gotten the three, but we saw, as we talked about earlier, her holding up on that three count. Unbelievable, the way she reversed the head scissors into the cradle, similar to a, a Momorachi, and look at this, commander, this kind of Fujiwara, Fujiwara armbar. Oh, she's got it, she's got the Wakita Gami, she's got the Wakita Gami, she's bending that elbow back up here, and Buck, she can end her career, and look at her partners, now kicking her, kicking her for all she's worth, Kuragaki kicking her, trying to help her partner. Unbelievable, commander going from the high, fast piece lucha down to submission wrestling, keg is made, Yoniyama's on the top rope, could be a moonsault, ah, no water in the pool that time. 
Oh, she missed Buck. And right now, everybody into the ring right now. Action, just crazy. It's just pure chaos right here, Buck. And I'll tell you what, this referee, it looks like she's just sitting back and letting them all go. Let them go at it. Why not? Oh, wait, we got a triple team coming up here. Wait a minute, no, some trips. It's Yoniyama and Hyuga left in the ring. German suplex. No, no, she landed on her feet. She's making her into the ropes. Roll through, cradle. No, hold on. German suplex, bridge. One. Two and oh, so close. And again, Buck, in a regular matchup with another referee, she would have gotten the three count. And that's what makes these victories here so meaningful in JWP. Unbelievable. Yoni Yama now going back up to the ropes. Haro Yuma back in the ring as well. Yuga now a victim of a double team. This match is broken down. Double underhook pulls her off. So, no, wait a here comes Kuragaki again. Ayuga in a lot of trouble, but it looks like she's going to turn that negative into a positive right now, Buck. Oh, look at the slap to the face. Slap right to the face. She's on the top rope, Buck. Ayuga and Yoniyama battling on the top rope. Who's going to get the best? Double underhook, super flex to the mat. And look at the way Ayuga rolled through. She, she's got the cover, One, Buck. Two and oh. Once again, that, that pause, that yeah. little extra second is what she needed. She got the shoulder up. Such a trapped arm here, German suplex. One, two, and oh, again, so close. And what's interesting there is you saw Commando, she could have got she could have gone in the ring and helped Yoniyama, but she didn't. She held back Buck. What's that all about? Maybe she wants to prove her. Oh, prove herself as Haruyama. Hits her right in the back of the head. Or is it Oklahoma roll? One, two, and oh, kick out there by her. No, she maintains the grip. One, there's two, and oh, again. She's still holding on. One! Two and again, and, and finally the Yuga breaks. No, she's grabbing it again. One, two, and oh, so close. After four, and look at the look of anguish on her face right now. The oh. agony of defeat, a palm strike by Commando. That's her go to maneuver, but she's going for no, wait a minute. Kuragaki with the headbutt. Watanabe with the spear. Gore, Gore Buck. Unbelievable, and here's going off the rope. Shining Wizard! Shining Wizard to the head! And that may have been the highest Shining Wizard I've ever seen, Buck. And here we go, it's that Mishinoku driver number two! That's gotta be it! One, two, Kenji! No! No, she could not kick out! And Buck, that's it. What a competitive matchup right here. And what a meaningful victory, especially with all the punishments that these women absorbed. The slow three counts. Buck, what a matchup. What a debut for JWP here on the Japanese Hardcore Wrestling Amazing. Team. In the end, it was a true team effort. The headbutt from Kuragaki stopping Yoniyama's stunner attempt. Watanabe running in with that spear. Then it came down to Hyuga, hitting that shiny wizard, that high shiny wizard to the head, following it up with the Mishinoku driver number two. It's an incredible team effort, JWP. Fantastic women's wrestling action. Women as wrestlers. That's what you find here on Japanese Hardcore Wrestling. We have a lot to look forward to in this exciting group in the future, I'm sure.